Troy, welcome to 94.7 Highfield Stereo. Great to have you with us. Thank you very much. Um, firstly, I, I sit here and I, across you and I'm looking at you and you, you're very composed, you, you're chilled. And I mean, to be honest, in the film, that's the character for you because you have yeah. to keep control, yeah. the head, headstrong guy. Was it a big of a shift for you to get into character? Well, I think so, yeah. I think on Spud 1 it was kind of um, a, a little bit more of a crossover between you know myself and the character. But now, as kind of the character's growing slower and stuff like that, like, there's, there's now, you know, there's a full-on spud voice because my voice is broken, obviously, and his hasn't, you know what I mean? So, like, there's a spud voice and the accent, you know, is South African and stuff like that. So, I, I think he's just becoming more of a, you know, a character in his own right. So, you know, the way the way I walk, the way I talk, when you know, when I'm playing spud, it's, it's kind of different to the way I'd normally act. And I also think I'm probably more composed in interviews than I am in real life. So, I don't know if this is anything to go by. Is that a good or bad thing? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Check out my YouTube channel. I'm, I'm, far, I'm far more my, like myself. You'll see how things can get a little crazy. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, so what was the best scene for you to shoot in, in the whole film? I mean, the film is busy, there's a lot mm. happening in the film. Yeah, it's very quick. Uh, yeah, exactly. Mm. Was this the vibe on set for you as well? Oof, yeah, we shot in five weeks. Um, so it was like crazy, crazy quick. So we never really had time to settle into one particular place, always, you know, on the move. But um, I don't know, I mean, I've, I think probably the best scenes to film were the, the madhouse scenes in the tree in the tree house. I think, I think all the boys and I, we had a really, really good time over those like mm -hmm. three days and um, yeah, it was it was just it was really nice to kind of because we did we settled there for a few days and um, the boys and I we we're, we're best mates so to be able to spend like solid time with them it was really really good. You know, at the end of the day, Spud as a whole is a franchise, and I mean, I, yeah. I think a lot of actors like the franchise because not only do you have work constantly coming your way, you know, it's fun. You get to meet new characters as they come mm -hmm. in. Do you feel as though Spud is a very strong franchise to last all the way until the end? I do. Yeah, I think that. Um, I mean, all you have to do is like look at the book sales and things like that to know that. South Africa in particular loves this series and they've loved every single book in the mm. series and um, I mean the support we've been going around doing school tours to promote this movie and we've had far 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 Has more support. Has that been Yeah it's been nuts. We've been to girls schools where like of course, like come now. I'm really gonna go to girls and school. screaming and like crying and stuff. So the support on this film has been much, much bigger than on the first. So you know, if that's anything to go by, then uh, we got an interesting couple of couple of years ahead of us. <laughs> um, most challenging part for you about shooting this whole film? I'm sure almost everyone knows this, but you don't shoot movies in, in sequence. You know, you, you're kind of shooting all over the place. So you'll shoot something from the end of the film, and then you're shooting something back in the beginning of the film. Mm. And so to try and get kind of the growth into so, you know, be shooting a really, really happy scene and then all of a sudden you dropped into the, the yes. right in the bottom of the film where everything's kind of going a bit bit terribly. Um, you know, to kind of have those bipolar yes. moments, it's not really easy, you know, to, to get into that headspace. So, but that's that's what you have to do as an actor. So I guess it's just one of the challenges that you know, you've got to kind of deal Lastly, with. Lastly, now millions are going to watch the film. I know for a fact because to be honest, South Africans love the cinema. Yeah. What is the one core message you would like viewers to take home? Oh my gosh. Um, just. Go nuts, have fun, rebel a little bit. Be crazy? Bit. Yeah, basically, be crazy, be cheeky, and go see Spud 2. There we are. I like the punt in the end. Yeah. Troy, thank you so much. All thank the best for the much. next film, and rock on, hey? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.